Hello and welcome back to Delicate Sounds of Camping. Right, the last review I'm going to do on the, M the MTP gear for until I get more is, is the MTP water bottle. Um, comes in the MTP case, genuine buckle things on the back. Open it up. And it's a nice size canteen. Um, inside is all fur lined. There's a pocket on the front. <coughs> it's got a drip thing in the bottom in case it gets in case water gets in there. Um, I've used it a lot when we was on the campsite last for taking water around I will be using it for me while camping I, I will get another one of these as well so I've got so I've got the two of them um, I like this you can put it on your belt and never have any issues uh, it carries a bit of water Two of them would probably do you for an old, an old, an overnight wild, wild camp as long as you weren't, as long as you weren't walking too far. If you're walking too far, you'd have to go onto the water pack, which goes on your back, which you can get in the same design as these. I think it's the mole pack. It's called. It's you can get it in M, in MT in MTP. Um, Hydration pack, a hydration mullet pack. I think you can pick them up off the surplus stores for about 30 quid. I think I'm sure it was 30 quid when I went when I saw it at the weekend in the shop. Yeah, it was. Um, I got this one for eight pounds, so it doesn't leak. I do know that for definite because I've thrown it around, I've done all, all sorts of with, with this just, just to make sure it was solid and secure, and it was. Um, I really like this. It was really, really, really good for filling up with water and um, getting it backwards and forwards to boil, to boil, boil the kettles on the campsite. Um, using it for wild camping, I'll probably use two of these. I will be getting another one. But this, but this is the review of that. It's just the um, MTP camouflage design and water bottle. Come, in, come complete as it is for eight pound. Um, definitely worth it because you can put it on like your belt, so you don't have to carry it around. Well, like yeah, well you do if you're on your belt, but you don't have to carry it like, like your hands. Um, two, two of these would probably do. Would probably do me for night on a wild camp. Um, I don't know because I've not used it on a wild camp yet. I've not used it on the camp I've only just got it. Um, but yeah, you put matches in there. You can put anything in that little pocket there so that's that so i'll gonna call it a day there now we'll see you soon again on delicate sounds of camping i am going to get you out there and do a wild camp soon and you see all all the gear i've got in action and things like that but there it is there it is so i hope you enjoyed these videos on delicate sounds of wild camping i try to not make them too boring or too long-winded and try and talk you through some, some some of the gear you could possibly need for wild camps or things that you could see you think, that could be useful so other than that yeah so enjoy your wild camping experiences and hope to see you again soon and keep wild camping or campsite camping or kayak camping and anything like that and enjoy enjoy yourselves and Take care. Oh, leave no trace. Most importantly, leave, leave no trace so it doesn't get messed up for everybody else. Okay, thank you and goodbye.